What's up, guys? You made it back. Hopefully, you watched part one of the Geeks Closet podcast. I'm Randy Rodriguez. This is my co-host. I'm Manny Samano. And uh, we're here just to enlighten you and talk crap and talk about the geek culture. And there's a lot we want to tackle. Um, we're going to spend a little time with you guys today on a few little subjects. Uh, first thing I want to do, I don't know if you guys remember, I asked you to follow. We had the Vampirella that we gave away last week. Um the winner of that was uh, Zach Star 420. So uh, check your inbox because uh, I sent you some information so you can send us your contact. Um, and let's just get uh, right into it. Um, first thing I wanted to talk about was uh, that Dave Bautista, he finally did confirm what everybody was talking about and all the rumors. Um, this is going to be his last Guardians movie. And uh, I'm not going to lie, bro. I'm a little disappointed. Thanks. Thing. He was the, he was what made Guardians of the Galaxy fun for me. Really? Yeah, his humor, bro. Yeah, he's hilarious because he's such a tank and like you know, he is. That. But you know what? Um, I know that Dave's been going through uh a lot of stuff from what I've heard and read. Um, you know, I know that he wanted to be in more serious roles. He wanted to be casted in in roles that you know were not such you know. Like that. So anyhow, um, I know there was one point where um, everything he was being casted for, you know, he had to have his shirt off. And um, he wasn't too happy with that because he wanted us to see him and not see Mr. Yeah, you know? And, and, and I get it. You know, um, I completely get it. I'm just really sad. And, you know, I really freaking like him as Drax. Yeah. And he's been, and if you go back, like, comic book adaptation of Drax is pretty solid. But you got to remember, this is James Gunn. He's, it's James Gunn. So he's he went to DC. This movie is his last movie as well. So is he going to take Batista as well? Because there's a theory that James Gunn is going to make Batista either one, like Slosser. Oh! Got things off? Well, I think he would be an incredible Bane. Okay. But okay. but Dave Bautista himself spoke on that. Um, he spoke about first of all the Lex Luthor rumor was an online rumor, um, and that got back to him. And he spoke about it, and he said that it's very interesting that he it may be something that he would do. But out of his mouth, he said that. Um, he doesn't feel that he has the body or the shape to be able to play Bane anymore, which I think is the biggest cop out, the biggest piece yeah, of gold. Exactly. Uh, yeah, because insane. you know, superstars, muscle memory, when they're going for a part, you're talking about they can gain hundred pounds, they can lose hundred pounds, they can turn into like monsters and not so and, and li- exactly. Um, so I'm gonna ask you a question. Uh, before you answer, I'm gonna ask it to them as well. So what I want you guys to do, if you can, I want you to tell me what you think is going to happen um, in the comments. Here's the question. How do they write him off? Please tell me they don't kill him. Okay, so if you pay attention to every single uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, oh, it's all different colors, right? So the first one was killed off. Groot, right? Okay. Okay, Groot was killed off. But if you look, it was... Groot. I love Groot. Yeah, everybody... I love Groot. But... I am Groot. Group was also like, like the color scheme of group was in the title. Okay. Second movie, who was it? Oh no! Why are you? Uh, where are you going? What's exactly. the color scheme? Yeah, now, I'm paying attention. Okay. Red. Oh, not red. Red is dead. Red is red. Red is dressed. Red is dressed. Red is dressed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh so, no! But it's also got gold. So maybe they kill off both. Right. Nah. Rocket. You don't think so? Well, let me tell you something. Before this confirmation, everybody was saying it was going to be Rocket because everybody knows somebody's going to die yeah. in, in Guardians. Um, It's sad to say. I don't even want to say it because I... Look, bro. James Gunn, <laughs> if you can hear me, if you're watching this, you stumble upon this. So, you know what, everybody? Tag him in the links in, below. Tag him in the comments. Um... Please don't kill him off. Be creative. You're a smart guy. Kill him off. You, I say kill him off. All right. All right. Let's move over to the next thing. <laughs> Come on. Let's change time. He's always got a dark tone to his movie at some point. Okay. So um, off topic, because this wasn't part of our, you know, what we were going to discuss. Okay. But um, to touch on James Gunn real quick, 
I want to say, um, since he is specific, and you know what? I think next show we should talk about all the projects he just announced. Okay, so we, we'll, we'll touch on that. Um, but about, about James Gunn, I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm super happy for him. Great dude. Brilliant mind. But I'm really disappointed that we lost him. And when I say we, I mean Marvel fans. Listeners here know I'm a Marvel guy. I know you're a DC guy, so I know inside you're jumping for joy. Yeah, I'm excited, man. But, you know what? I like the fact that he could work with whoever he wanted to. And now he specifically, I mean, the guy laid out a 10-year plan for DC. I don't see anything in the Marvel works, even though, you know, Marvel and Disney, they know how to make money. They know what they're going to do. Um, but anyways, congratulations, James Gunn. Um, just don't disappoint us. All right. Next thing, so I don't. Did you ever? Have, did you by any chance watch the Wednesday Wednesday's Wednesday series? I've seen a lot of clips. I tried watching like the first episode. I turned it off. If if you watch just the first episode, you, that's what I you're going to turn it off. You you need to you need to watch a few more because the quality of the writing and even more Jenny Ortega, uh, the actress who plays um, Wednesday Adams, she's brilliant. Like, I think they did such a great job casting her. Um, but anyways, what we're talking about right now is not Wednesday. What we're talking about is Daredevil Reborn Again. And um, there is rumors floating everywhere online. It's, it's pretty sad. That Jenny Ortega is going to play White Tiger in Daredevil. What do you think about that? Okay. If she plays White Tiger, it's a role that needs to be done properly. Because White Tiger is a very, like, very self uh detrimented character. Yeah. It's like if there's no character that's kind of like White Tiger, oh they have the same attribute. No. White Tiger is White Tiger. Right. So like if you look at White Tiger in comics, she's more tall. She's on the taller side. Okay. And she's pretty muscular. Now, is she gonna have to bulk up? Is Listen, I don't like I don't know with her body frame if she can bulk up. And, and then again, and we don't know if the writing is gonna compensate for those kind of things. Right. Um and we don't even know because we don't have any confirmation that this is even really happening. It could be false. It could be false. But kind of like it, man. And I don't like it because I think she's a great fit for the role. I like it because well, she's a badass. Like most of the work that she did on Wednesday, that's why I say you have to watch it because that's the only way you can really uh, appreciate what she does with the film. But Bro, she, for her age and the type of actress she is, she is completely taking the role and making it herself. You know, um, like what Heath Ledger did with Joker, like, you know, things, yeah. you know how those actors take it to another world? Brother, that's that's what she's been doing. Jenny Ortega, we're big fans of you. If you ever want to be on the show, send us a message. Uh, tag her as well. Um, but anyways, um, I think it could be really interesting. Yeah, but I'm also like, okay, this doesn't. I I'm all about comic book adaptation. Yeah, and like, doesn't. Okay, that's not this. But I want you to see it with different eyes. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. The topic is Jenny Ortega and her playing white light, a uh, white lining, white tiger, white, tiger, white, white tiger. tiger. Um. But uh, that's not what you have to be thinking about. What you have to be thinking about is that she's not going to be the main star. It's not like she's playing Wednesday. This is Daredevil, you know, born again. So everybody is waiting for this. Yeah. And the fact that after so many years, they're bringing back the original cast. I mean, I think that the spotlight is going to be on the main characters. Um, you know, I believe that maybe she will have a side row kind of something like what Electra did. Um, by the way, I think she did phenomenal as well. Yes. Um that's a good Electra. Yeah, I think I think it was a great Electra. Um, but so she's gonna be a supporting cast. Yeah. So I mean, I think that's how we have to look at it. Um, is she gonna be able to do a good enough job with what she gives the role? Um to be nominated for anything supporting cast. So she's very young. She has a lot to learn. Um, but with what she's given us so far, I think has been incredible. And I'm looking forward to seeing what she does. And I'll be honest, I'm looking forward to see with 
how they are going to do the writing for the show. Um, I want to, I don't want it to be, you know, some shows when they come back, they're not the best. Um, and they suck the fans in because of nostalgia, because we're passionate about it once upon a time. Right. Um, so I'm hoping that that is not the case here, that it's actually going to be great content. Yeah. And you've seen that, you've seen that before, especially with uh, Cobra Kai. Because uh-huh. Cobra Kai was a pretty good show within the first couple seasons. But I feel like it just ended up being saturated because it was being... It's the same thing yeah. over and over, different villain. I get it. Yeah. That's that's all that's the shows that's now. That show. That's all the shows now. Um, But uh, next on our agenda, and I'm super excited about this one. Brother, I, I, I'm i usually a hero kind of guy, just yeah. so you know. Um, I, I do mess with anti-heroes as well, but... um. If we're not really talking Star Wars, I'm not a big villain guy. Right. Unless we talk about Thanos. Now, oh, there you go. All right. So here we have a special Thanos Funko Pop. All right. It's number 52. Comes in the Hard Kids from Factory. Still sealed. Um, we're going to give this away today. So um, all you guys got to do to get this Funko Pop free of charge. No shipping. No nothing. Um, just follow us on. Our, all our socials, our link tree will be in the comments below. Um, it will be linked. Give us a follow on Instagram, on Facebook, wherever you want. TikTok, uh, comic book guy with the beard. We are all over the place. Your social media? It is laboratory. It is laboratory. We'll touch back on these socials again. Um, but um, I especially want to tell our followers, uh, if you're going to follow us anywhere, follow us on Whatnot. It's Geek's Closet, whatnot. We're going to start doing tons of live auctions. Um, we're going to, you know, have certain things here on the show, maybe certain unboxings that will give you guys an opportunity to preview before we put it on the live auctions. Um, we are the most fair priced uh, store in town, period. Our prices beat Walmart. Um, so just uh, pay attention to that. Give us a follow. So like I was saying, Thanos. Bro, I'm a huge fan of uh, Thanos is my guy. I have almost every comic book of Thanos. Um, I, if I wasn't so big bone, maybe let's say, um, I would play him for on Halloween or any, or I would buy a costume for the store. I really, really like Thanos. I think he's a badass. I think he's misunderstood. Uh, I think that you know he became this horrible villain in Avengers. And the truth of the matter is, he may have had dark ways, but the motives were good. Yeah, this is what he's trying to do for his, like, himself and his people. Right. It's not like it's not an easy, it's not really a villain. He is a villain. He is a villain because that's not his only story. He's done some really jacked up stuff. I, yeah. Um. But what the point of the story is? What I'm excited about is, uh, Josh Brolin. He is. Actually, rumored to come back in Secret Wars. So, um, I don't know how the hell that's going to happen. Um, I'm assuming that Marvel is going to do, and obviously we haven't seen anything, and we're not these geniuses like they are. Right. Um, but you you remember when all the rumors were coming out about Robert Downer Jr. coming back to play Iron Man? Yeah. Well, I know for a fact that's happened. I've read a lot of literature um, that he has or is in the process of filming as Iron Man. But, you know, we there's the whole multiverse, you know? Um, so I truly believe that if they're not going to do something crazy that's going to make us say, oh, man, why? what's the point of killing somebody off if you bring them back? So what I'm thinking is they're, they're going to do memory-based, like, flashbacks. Flashback. Or, or give to the story uh, based on something that we didn't see happen in the past. Okay, but here's the thing. Secret Wars has a lot to do with the scrolls. Scrolls can embody other like characters or like other uh, people. So, like we saw it with Nick Fury oh, okay. and his agent. Okay? And we right. thought the whole time throughout the Avengers that it was Nick Fury himself. When it turned out to be, it was not Nick Fury. It was just a scroll. Okay. But well, I'm thinking they use the like, scrolls are going to embody. Thanos and it's gonna have like Josh Brolin do a few things and uh, you gotta remember the fan in me doesn't want that right exactly. but but the comic book fan in me will take that 
over them ruining. Yeah, because the thing is that they've put so much work and effort and love into what is the multiverse. You, yeah. you understand that I don't want them getting all complicated, you know, like it, like the Deadpool thing right now, everything is going on with Wolverine, you know, um, spoiler alert. But if, if you know how Logan ended or, you know, how Wolverine's ending has happened, people are wondering, like, you know, how they just bring back characters, you know, so I'm like, I'm on the fence. I'm hoping because we've had so many years of good writing and the way they planned the whole multiverse and stuff that they do us good by Secret Wars. Yeah, but if you like look at Marvel's track record recently with these movies, they no. haven't been the hottest. Though. Guys, I also would like you to know that the person giving this opinion is a hardcore. Okay, listen, fan. don't listen. To, I I love Marvel. Like I grew up. I love Marvel. He likes okay, Marvel. listen. Okay, he might like them a lot. Yeah, I like them a lot when it comes to Spider Man. I think they've done amazing. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I've been doing a lot with Spider Man. Yeah, no, but like they haven't had a good track record when it comes to the most recent MCU. They've been like CGI has been terrible. You know, I, I, normally I am always the optimistic, positive. I I don't like bash people and things like that. Um. But even with what you're saying, they're still better than what DC has produced. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I had to throw that in there. I know that was petty. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Either. I know it's petty, but it's but you're right. Continue. I, I oh, listen. But when it comes to like a cinematic universe, Marvel's got it. They got all, everything. That's why Ken Feige sent uh James Gunn to DC, right? Started on legacy. But when it comes to this right here. They really need I don't really like that you said scent. I think scent is the wrong word. Okay, what do you because I, I kind of feel it was more yeah, man. I, I don't know, bro. The thing is, there's no room in Marvel or Disney or, or Star Wars. There's nowhere in that world um that that James Gunn would fit um other than writing and producing and directing yeah. the movies. He is five star. DC, let's be real. DC really, really was struggling. DC was struggling in almost every aspect. Literally. And and bringing in a fresh mind in James Gunn, um, I think was a great move. But I don't like that they were like, okay, new CEO, no new CEO, new CEO, or we're gonna do this, we're selling the company to this. For me, it feels like what's going on with the WWE right now. They don't know who's in charge, um, who's making the decisions. It's it's bad for business. Yeah. So so now I do feel like let's be real. Um, he's a talented person. Yeah. At what he does, we have never seen him in this role. So he could suck yeah. in this role and still be a genius in right. Look, he's writing the new Superman. Right, and he's everything, right? Yeah, well, for the next ten in the for ten year period, years, supposedly. Right. So, so the fact that he is writing and producing it and yeah. everything that can help them because that's going to give them quality videos. But I know that his co CEO is handling a lot of the business aspect of the CEO position. Um, let's just hold that hope that together they make each other stronger. And, um, you know, that maybe this time in two years, I'll be singing a different tune and I'll be like, DC, DC. Not likely, but um, could it's happen. Not terrible. Absolutely. Like, throughout their like, whole cinematic universe. Yes. Which leads me to our next point, depending on how much we touch on it, maybe our last point, I haven't decided. Um, Marvel Zombies. Oh, yeah, I'm so excited. Marvel Zombies is a new animated series. Uh, they're talking about it's projected the first episode to release February 2024. Um, it's supposed to be something unlike anything we've ever seen. Um, I'm going to quote real quick a quote from the people who are working on the show. 
Um, and that is that it will be very gory and gruesome and unlike anything we've ever seen in the MCU so far. That is crazy. Yeah, um, I mean, that's insane. Everything that happened with Marvel Zombies when it comes to the comics um, and everything related to Marvel Zombies, and I'll be real, I'm not a huge animation kind of guy, um, but Marvel has a lot of work ahead of them. And you're talking to a Marvel guy and I expect nothing but greatness because they are incredible. But they are facing DC when it comes to their animation studio. And I don't know if even the cartoons that our children watch can be anywhere near as good as what DC has yeah. produced in their animation. They are, hands down, I believe, the best animation studio out there. Yeah. So... um. It's a battle, bro. It is a battle. Again, this is going to be a, I should, like a breath of fresh air. Marvel itself. Let's try something new. Something different. I and agree. Do you think it could be a 3D animation? Like, let's say. Did you catch any clips or watch any of, remember, uh, not too long, it was a little bit long ago, but uh, Star Wars came out with a, uh, um, and quick note, everything Star Wars on Disney Plus that's animated is incredible. Everything. It, it, oh, my God. Read the reviews and the ratings. Um, I can tell you that the writing on any of the Star Wars animated series on this Disney Plus will hang with any of the shows on DC. Except uh, at one point, Star Wars came out with an anime. It was like anime-based uh, animation. And I didn't like it so much. Um, I didn't like almost anything about it. Um, it was more cartoony for me. Uh, I what I love about DC animation is like, for not realistic in as in how it looks, uh, but in the movement, the characters move, walk, and talk like real people, um, which I love. And this is Marvel Zombies. Okay, so Walking Dead, Walking Dead had a zombie college to teach people how to because they're so experienced you know and what zombies are like they had a panel of zombies giving off okay so what i'm saying and i'm so sorry amc if you're watching this we're big fans but um the the truth is they had they had college for that for any of the extras yeah. um this is going to be animated so i can't see an animated zombie not looking super fake and how are they going to give us realism and it look good? So with that, they're gonna do it just like how they did the what if series. Like that's what I'm thinking. They're gonna do it just like the what if series. And the what if series would be, I love the what if what if series. But if you look at like another animation, Invincible, that's very gruesome, very gory, and it's amazing. So they could tie in that type of animation with the what if animation because you gotta remember when it comes to something dark and gruesome like that, they can't have too many colorful, like too many saturated colors. It gotta be just your basic primary and secondary colors. Now you gotta make sure that when you do these type of animations, you have to add a little bit of a delay into them because that's what's gonna make them look more like. I forgot we're talking to an artist. So he's actually given us real insight. Uh, he is a real artist. Like yeah. you guys, if you haven't checked out his work, uh, let me know if there's a demand and, and we'll blast it out there. That's not a problem, but he's very talented in his artwork. And um, so this, these are very good you points. You have to make sure it's done. The way you would watch The Walking Dead with just an anime style. We don't know. We really yeah. don't know. We don't know. But I can tell you something I do know. Now, this is not just a fanboy in me, okay? I really have super high hopes for their writing. Yeah. Uh, I could deal with crappy animation, not that they're going to have, with good writing. And listen to the quotes. Unlike anything we've seen in the MCU so far, very gory and gruesome. Um, and I don't know if you watched... Um, if you watched... Uh, what's this guy's... Doctor, the Last Doctor Strange. Yeah, but, I loved it. But it was dark, bro. For for Marvel, it was dark. I loved it. I loved dark. Yeah, you know and I, I think they did. Look, 
They made him a zombie. Yeah. They made him a zombie. Nice. And they did that great. Yeah. Um, but it wasn't animated. So, uh, guys, I want to know if you've read, researched, know anything about Marvel zombies and what you think they're going to do. You can inbox us on any social media. You can uh, comment below. Um, we check, you know, all our socials and all the podcasting sites, you know, all the time. Um, we'd love to uh, tackle some of your comments for the next show. Uh, we've been on for almost 30 minutes. I don't want to bore them. So I'm going to end up, um, I'm going to end up closing up this show. All right. And uh, I want you guys to uh, follow us on our show, so, uh, socials. Uh, check us out in the link tree. It's Geeks Closet 850 on um, Instagram and Facebook. It is also going to be Comic Book Guy with the Beard on TikTok. Um, Aiden's Laboratory on um, on Instagram. Give us a check out, man. And uh, I think you'll you'll really like the content and our product. If there's anything you want to see us talk about, give us a call. Give us a call at the store. Send us a message. Uh, we're down to hear what you have to say. All right, bud.